All right, man. Apparently, you hear Steve Kirk talking about he may experiment with Clay Thompson playing the power forward position. Let's talk about it. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notification, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop video. So um, apparently, uh, he want to tinker with that idea. Um, I don't really think it's a good idea. Um, I think they line up. If you're going, in my opinion, if you're going to play Chris Paul and start Chris Paul, which, you know, he should be willing to do everything, um, whatever, you know, come off the bench, whatever. He should be willing to do that. You know what I'm saying? Um, the lineup should be Chris at the one, Steph at the two, Clay at the three, Draymond at the four, and whoever they're going to get to play the five, Kavon, Looney, that should be the lineup. Right? Playing Clay Thompson at the four, I mean, coming off that knee injury, you know, banging up against guys that's a little bit bigger and thicker than him, that just don't make no sense. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, you know, some small lineups you can get away with it, but no. At least put Clay at the three. You know what I'm saying? And 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 and, and that's that's my opinion on it. You know, um, I understand he want to recreate the wheel and all that type of stuff, or whatever the situation may be, you want to recreate the wheel. I get it. Y'all innovate. Y'all was, you know, the first team to really, uh, you know, you know, implement small ball and all that type of stuff. So I definitely understand. I understand all that stuff, but you really weren't part of that shooting barrage that Mark Jackson let go on. That was Mark Jackson, but, um, you know, you ain't stopping though. You kept the train, keep rolling, let them play how they play. But, you know, I think the Warriors got a real shot to win the regain their title one more again. I really do. Um, you know, because you really got uh, 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 Denver. And Denver is the only team I really see in the way. I don't like Phoenix. They don't, you know, they don't have depth. And their team is predicated too much on guys that, that can't stay healthy. Devin Booker. Kevin Durant, they can't stay healthy. They don't have depth. Yusuf, Yusuf Nurkic can't stay healthy. So they team really built on guys who can't stay healthy. Bradley Bill is not proving anything in any type of big moment. And I love Bradley Bill. But that's just a fact. That's just the facts. You know? So it says Steve Kerr plans to push for Klay Thompson Pop 4 can end in disaster for the Warriors. I mean, at the end of the day, you always can make an adjustment. You always can make trades. I mean, they got a prefla of uh, they have a prefla of, of young talent uh, on the team. You know, Steve Kerr just refused to develop the young talent. That's the crazy thing about it. Find roles for him: Moses Moody, Jonathan Kaminga, Wiseman. You know, he's like, well, we don't really have time to man. You got to make time, and you know that's one of the reasons why you know you see more female teachers. Side note: than you see male teachers. You know, that's one of the reasons you see why men don't have no patience to teach nobody nothing. Most men just figure everybody should be able to just pick it up like that, pick it up like that, pick it up like that. You know, that's why you see Michael Jordan and some of these guys that don't, don't, uh, who don't, uh, make good coaches or GMs or something because they don't have any patience. That's what made Deion Sanders such a good coach. He has patience. And you know what comes, you know, where, where having patience come from and being able to control your emotions. That's where one of the one of the places it started for guys to have patience is able to control their emotions. And most guys never, most guys never master that. You hear me? Most guys never ma master control their emotions. You know, when they get older, they just stop giving a fuck. Excuse my language. You know, they just don't care no more. So that's not that's not controlling your emotions. You just like, uh, uh, I don't care. You got to have patience. You got to have a plan to develop these young players. And that's been the biggest issue with the Warriors. And that's why they downfall, which it could have been so bright with all those draft picks. That's why they downfall is going to be so crucial. It's going to be so hard, hard on them. That's why.
because they didn't have a plan in place and they had a patience to work with the young guys and work them in. If you can work a Von Looney and fucking line up in the middle of the season, you can work Wiseman in. If you can deal with Draymond being a freaking bum out there all the time, man, at times, you can work these guys in. And guess what? They'd be ready to rock and roll to contribute. You know, and Steve Kerr is coming off as not being that good of a coach. Let's just call it what it is. Steve Kerr is coming in being not that good of a coach. I think he's the most overrated coach. He inherited the team and just didn't mess it up. You know, put a little bit more emphasis on defense, and that's what it was. Let's call it what it is. Let's call it what it is. But you got the NBA talk player fighting say so. So it said in addition to Chris Paul's offseason along with Draymond Green's ankle injury to off the year has presented the Warriors Steve Kerr interesting lineup. Kerr told the reporters the after the first day of training camp that he would try uh, out a starting five of Paul, Steph Curry, Andrew Wiggins, Clay Thompson, Kevon Loney in the team's first preseason game Saturday. So forgot about Wiggins in there. Um that's a no-go for me. Uh Wiggins can be the four. He young, strong. The lineup will clearly be undersized. Paul, six feet. Curry, six two. One of the smallest backcourts. Uh, Looney and neither one of them can defend at a high level. Uh, Looney is the toughest, strongest player in the league, but he's also six nine. So he says Clay will guard a four man. He's probably physically strong, so he used to guard and post up players. After switches, we're thinking Clay can guard as a four this year. Kerr said we're going to put him in coverage where he's having to defend pick and rolls at the four. That would be a different job for him. We're planning on doing some uh, some of that and seeing how it goes. How about just putting Chris Paul ass on the bench and bringing him off the bench and going and then mixing him in where you can mix him in at? Y'all creating the same kind of similar problems y'all had with uh y'all creating similar problems that y'all had with uh with pool fucking up the team chemistry. Spring him off the bench. If he don't come off the bench, he can get he can get waved. That's crazy to have that, that man Clay Garden Force and his he came off two hard knee surgeries. That's wild to me. Real, real wild. But um let me know what you girls and guys think about it. Check out the NBA talk playlist, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. That subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notification, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop video. Financially, want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Appreciate the love, support. Check out the NBA Talk playlist for more videos like this. Peace.